Loomis 150. This video provides training on how to use home mechanical ventilation. The training you are about to receive is specific to the ResMed Loomis and is therefore not transferable to other devices. Home mechanical ventilation provides a way of supporting breathing outside of the hospital setting. The intention of the treatment is to improve quality of life and relieve symptoms. Home mechanical ventilation is delivered by a machine attached to a hose and firm fitting mask or via a tube in the neck called a tracheostomy. The machine delivers a steady stream of air at a pre-decided volume, pressure, or a combination of both. Usually the machine provides two levels of ventilation. One is a low continuous pressure felt at a slight resistance when breathing out to keep the lungs open for longer. The other is a higher pressure felt when breathing in to assist with providing a bigger breath. The machine is set with a backup rate, so if it detects a pause in the person's breathing, it will deliver a breath for them. This is to ensure a consistent breathing pattern throughout the night. Some medical conditions that relate to the lungs, nerves and muscles can lead to a problem with pulling air into and out of the lungs. Breathing feels harder work and muscles become tired. This can lead to a buildup of carbon dioxide in the blood and a reduction of oxygen, especially at night. Home mechanical ventilation may enable breathing to be more effective so muscles have time to rest. It also helps to keep the oxygen and carbon dioxide levels within normal limits as high levels of carbon dioxide in the blood can be dangerous and lead to hospital admission. Signs and symptoms of raised carbon dioxide include lack of quality sleep, morning headaches, pins and needles in the fingers and hands, daytime sleepiness, lack of concentration or alertness, shortness of breath, and tremor of the arm known as a CO2 flap. Connect the power cord into the transformer and into an electrical power outlet. Grip the retention clip on the back of the device and lift to open. Plug the cord into the device and push the clip down to secure it in place. The Loomis does not have a battery supply and will only work when connected to an AC mains power. On the left of the device is a compartment containing a white filter and this should not be covered. This prevents any dust or debris entering the device. The filter is not washable or reusable and should be replaced every six months. The SD card is housed in the side of the device. The Loomis will still work normally and provide therapy whether an SD card is present or not. The device may also have remote monitoring capabilities, allowing the team to review and make changes as required. A humidifier may be added to the device. This enables air to be passed through a warmed water chamber, helping to add moisture and reduce dryness and improve comfort. To attach the humidifier, remove the side panel. Fill the humidifier with boiled, then chilled tap water to the line marked on the side of the chamber. Reinsert the chamber, ensuring it is fully attached to the device. The air outlet is located on the top of the device. This is where air is delivered from the device to the mask. Attach the bacterial filter to the air outlet. It will only attach one way, so you can't get this wrong. This must be used with the device to protect from any bacteria. You will use a white filter for a dry circuit or a yellow filter with a humidified or wet circuit. Connect the hose firmly onto the filter and the free end firmly onto the mask. The mask shown in this video may differ to the mask provided. The F20 is the most common mask we use and will be shown in this video. The mask has a cushion which allows a firm seal to be made. If the mask is dirty, it will not form an effective seal and air will leak as it moves around. Please don't over tighten the headgear as this can lead to pressure areas, particularly on the bridge of the nose. Instead, please remove and reapply the mask to improve the fit. It's important to reduce leak to ensure the machine is giving the right size breath. At the front of the mask, there is an exhalation port to allow carbon dioxide to escape and you will feel the breath out here. Please ensure this is kept clean and not blocked or covered. You will be shown where this is depending on the type of mask being used. Firmly but comfortably apply the mask. This should sit on the bridge of the nose and in the chin groove. 
you should be able to fit two fingers down the side of the straps, which ensures it's not too tight. Some individuals may choose to have the air flowing or the ventilator switched on before applying the mask. Press the power button on the top of the ventilator once to turn it on. Turn the dial to select My Options in the menu. You have the option to run a mask fit to ensure that it is fitting well prior to starting therapy. However, you do not need to complete this every time. Press the Home button to return to the main menu. To start therapy, press the On button once. You will see a green bar appear on the screen confirming that the machine is running. You will see the bar move up and down as the breath is given. To stop therapy, press the power button once. This will generate a sleep report, showing the time used and how well the mask fit. To turn the ventilator off, press and hold the power button for approximately four seconds. When finished, undo the mask and remove the headgear. Avoid adjusting the Velcro where possible to ensure a consistent fit is achieved. The machine may alarm to tell you that there's a problem. A message will appear on screen in a red or yellow box depending on the seriousness of the alarm. If this occurs and you are caring for someone, first check that they are okay. The message on screen will give you a list of possible causes and solutions to resolve the issue. When the issue is fixed, the device will self-cancel the alarm. If you are unable to resolve the issue, please contact the home ventilation team and we will advise you on what to do next. White filters on the air outlet should be changed weekly. Yellow filters used with humidification should be changed daily to prevent being blocked by moisture. If you require any additional consumables, such as a hose, filters or masks, please contact the Home and IV team on the contact details below. The hose should be washed weekly in mild detergent, rinsed in clean water and left to drip dry over a shower rail or door. Never use bleach to clean the equipment. Replace the water in the humidifier chamber daily and wash once a week. However, don't use any harsh chemicals. Wipe the inside of the mask with a damp cloth daily. Do not use baby wipes as this can damage the seal. Cleaning the mask daily will help to achieve a good seal and prevent the mask moving around. Wash the headgear in warm soapy water and leave to dry naturally. 